Welcome to this quick demonstration of choice fields using the iPad for Maker by Superla. And uh, we're in design mode and we'll start off by uh, putting on a choice field. And with a choice you've got questions and answers and you can just quickly add answers as you need them. Default is two but you can add as many as you want really. And uh, we can go in and we can change the question label and uh, we can ask a question such as uh, how did you get here today? Uh, go and we'll just go up and click the little tick and there we go let's change the question and then for each of the uh, the answers we go in and change the caption and um, let's say you've got the choice of car or train uh, let's have a third one of bus these are the the equivalents of check boxes um, under windows and answer four we'll make this one slightly different we'll say other for this one so this is going to allow the option of entering a little bit of text so the user can um, put in their own their own details for that so if it's not car, train or bus they can say something else we can change the number of columns in this section to try and make this look a little bit nicer uh, that's with two columns we can go up to three columns and it's well it's still okay but if we go up to four well it's starting to get a little bit tight isn't it because that, uh, that other text box is quite small now so let's go back to two that looks okay now another type of choice field is a picker and this is a standard iOS control and um, let's use it to find out what the uh, what the user's favorite form of transport is so again we'll give them the same options as before and uh, we'll say the default value is train because everybody likes traveling by train <laughs> Me. and then we got car train and bus there's no point with the other really so we'll have those three click the little tick and then we got a standard picker and we can put in another one and we'll put that one where should we put it let's put it right next to the, uh, the previous one and we can say how expensive let's find that out now how long did it take let's have like, how long did it take and the default value for that let's leave that as well say two hours for that and then for the list of possible items let's have uh, one hour uh, two hours and this is just a comma separated list to set up the list of possible values or three hours there we are I'll click a little tick and that set that up for us and the third type of choice field is a segmented control another standard iOS control and this is great for short little lists so three four items to pick from this is great and we can have, let's use this to find out how expensive the trip was and again it's a comma separated list I won't put in a default value here let's let the user select one of these so this this forces them to select one um, and we'll say cheap moderate or costly um, I could make that look a little bit nicer if I wanted to uh, but I won't bother right now could change the label size for instance to, to tidy it up but um, let's just crack on and, and add another segmented control um, let's drag that one across and put it after that one and with this one let's say how often did you do you travel and again uh, we won't bother with the default value we'll just put in uh, let's put in traveling daily or daily or weekly or monthly there we go and you see that's uh, that label's a little bit long I could shorten the label or alternatively I could shorten the segmented control itself and uh, let's shorten the segmented control but I need to align it to the right so that it it works a little bit better um, I could mess around with the uh, with the values as well just to make them a little bit neater in a in a smaller control and that looks a little bit better and uh, well let's run that and see how that looks it's probably okay and so 
this is very quick and easy to use. People are are used to using the the standard controls now, so pickers are great and the segmented controls are great. And for people who are used to using older systems, well, the um, the checkboxes are great too. So they all have their purpose and they all have their place, and they're very quick to use and it's very quick to capture details. So that's two two records I've put in, and of course we'd expect to have quite a few uh, records, not just two, but anyway, that's how it looks in the results section. Two, and that's all the all there is to it.